Gaudi é foda, né? From Collider Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania wants to be Star Wars, but it comes up short. By Liam Gaughan While Scott Lang's latest journey creates an interesting aesthetic like Star Wars, it lacks the thematic depth of the galaxy far, far away. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is so radically different from its two predecessors that it's surprising to learn that the entire trilogy came from the same filmmaker. While both Ant-Man and Ant-Man and the Wasp were relatively low-stakes comedy capers, they each took a lighter approach to the Marvel Cinematic Universe compared to the other sub-franchises. However, the third film goes in a far more epic, action-packed style that introduces the wicked new variant of Kong, Jonathan Majors, the Big Bad, that will cast a shadow over all of Phases 5 and 6 ahead of Avengers, the Kong Dynasty. With epic sci-fi battles, weird exotic environments, goofy alien creatures, and themes of family and destiny, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Quantumania definitely feels like the MCU is trying to create its own version of Star Wars. While it does recreate an interesting aesthetic, it lacks the thematic depth of the galaxy far, far away. It's not entirely surprising that Walt Disney Pictures' two most valuable properties are Marvel Studios and Lucasfilm, as they're bound to promote any similarities between the two enterprises. Director Peyton Reed is himself a veteran of the Star Wars franchise, as he directed the season two installments of The Mandalorian with the infamous Frog Lady episode, The Passenger, and the finale, The Rescue, which notably featured the return of Mark Hamill's likeness as a digitally de-aged Luke Skywalker. While Reed clearly knows the world, its style, and the tone of George Lucas's space opera, he hasn't quite mastered the same thematic richness that makes the saga more culturally defining than its iconography. A Hive of Scum and Villainy Remarkably, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Quantumania spends very little time in any recognizable reality. As the title suggests, Scott Lang, Paul Rudd, Hope Van Dyne, Evangeline Lilly, Hank, Michael Douglas, Janet, Michelle Pfeiffer, and Cassie, Catherine Newton, are sucked down into the quantum realm early on after Kong intercepts a satellite communication attempting to reach subatomic levels. As soon as they're separated across different landscapes, the environment immediately feels wacky, weird, and unique. The visual beauty already gives the third film an exoticism that its predecessors lacked. In fact, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Quantumania seems to be a homage to many classic sci-fi films and serials that inspired Star Wars in the first place like Fantastic Voyage, Journey to the Center of the Earth, Flash Gordon, and Buck Rogers. Beyond simply feeling different, the film also captures a bit of the same tone as the Star Wars saga. Like many of the Star Wars films, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania opens in the middle of an action scene with a flashback to Janet escaping in an unknown location to escape some mysterious pursuers. The immediate establishment of danger feels similar to the assault on Tantive IV in A New Hope or Poe Dameron's, Oscar Isaac, Escape in The Force Awakens. Similarly, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania has a lot of the same, techno-mumbo-jumbo, in the dialogue discussing technology and alien languages, giving the universe tactility. Beyond the similarities between the different creatures, the introduction of new environments feels similar to the Star Wars saga in that these are just staples of the universe. Many of the new creatures and clans they meet are simply living in their homes like the Tusken Raiders of Tatooine or the Gungans of Naboo. The scene with Lord Krylar, Bill Murray, isn't because he's a big bad, but because he's just a charismatic leader taken advantage of like Lando Calrissian, Billy D. Williams, in The Empire Strikes Back. In order to give the ending an emotional boost, Reed replicates the theme that these different creatures should band together to confront a greater evil in Cassie's final speech, which coincidentally is broadcast on a very Star Wars-esque hologram. Ant-Man and the Wasp. Quantumania, lacks depth. While it's nice to see the MCU embracing the Star Wars influences, it doesn't acknowledge the saga's multi-layered themes that derive from Joseph Campbell's The Hero with a Thousand Faces. Scott doesn't have a true hero's journey, like Luke because he never loses a mentor or evolves during his adventure. Instead, Scott is still the same smiling, goofy guy in the beginning that he is at the end. Similarly, the themes of family never go beyond the Lang and Van Dyne families risking everything for each other. They don't ever have to redeem anyone, 
or cross into the darkness out of vengeance or lust. This would have come to the film's benefit, as Janet's history in the quantum realm includes some secrets that she's buried. While Kong has a sweeping robe and force choke that makes him look like a Sith Lord, his plan isn't as complex. He's not someone like Emperor Palpatine, Ian McDermott, who spends years calculating a political takeover that slowly gets people to embrace fascism, nor does he have the same broken spirit that made Kylo Ren, Adam Driver, so tragic. Kong is simply a bad guy obsessed with power who wants to dominate the universe, and despite Major's presence as an actor, he doesn't unlock the banality of evil. This isn't entirely surprising considering Reed's history with the Star Wars franchise. His episodes of The Mandalorian might be filled with cool imagery and battle scenes, but they're surface-level readings of the saga. The Passenger is simply a fun little micro-adventure about one creature in which everything is resolved neatly and without consequence. More egregiously, Luke's appearance in The Rescue betrays his evolution of character as he seems to be nothing but the same cold-hearted warrior he was at the beginning of Return of the Jedi, which doesn't echo his reflection or rejection of violence. It feels like a half-hearted attempt to return to a cool Luke, unlike the complex, flawed, and interesting character in The Last Jedi. The Star Wars saga has been pillaged of its iconography by many franchises, and it's generally to their benefit. Ant-Man and the Wasp. Quantumania definitely benefits from being a propulsive sci-fi adventure with meticulous detail paid to create a totally distinct world filled with exciting locations and cultures. However, it doesn't get any deeper than simply reiterating truisms. Like many Star Wars imitators, it will likely be enjoyed and then completely forgotten. Ant-Man and the Wasp. Quantumania is playing in theaters now. Ant-Man and the Wasp. Quantumania, cast expected to get cancelled with Jonathan Majors after a non-MCU controversy picks up speed. By Diamond Jun. While the controversy surrounding Jonathan Majors left many wondering about his MCU future, a different controversy, which is steadily gathering attention, has a Twitter user questioning if Ant-Man and the Wasp. Quantumania cast members should also receive backlash for their failure to address the domestic violence allegations made against the actor. As previously reported, Majors was arrested last month in Manhattan and currently faces assault and harassment charges following an alleged domestic dispute reportedly with his girlfriend. To date, although the 33-year-old has maintained his innocence and is expected to go to court soon, at the same time, Major is also experiencing professional setbacks. The Creed 3 star has been dropped from several projects and brand deals. In addition to his professional hindrances, more victims have stepped forward and accused Majors of abuse. But throughout all this, cast members from Quantumania like Paul Rudd, Evangeline Lilly, Catherine Newton, Michael Douglas, and Michelle Pfeiffer have steered clear of Major's controversy by not publicly commenting on the situation. But even though they have kept their silence on the issue, the fact that stars of the Netflix series, Beef, especially Steven Yoon whose support alone is giving Marvel heart palpitations, are publicly supporting David Cho despite his years-old admission of sexually assaulting a woman and are now facing the hate previously directed at the Mandalorian star is enough for a Yoon fan to demand that the cast of the MCU film should suffer a similar fate. The topic of cancellation came up after a Twitter user brought up the scrutiny beef stars Steven Yoon, Ali Wong, and the show's creator are receiving for supporting David Cho following his alleged sexual assault scandal. For context, Cho recounted in a resurfaced video from his 2014 podcast about allegedly sexually assaulting a masseuse by encouraging her to participate in sexual acts despite her continuous refusal to his advances. Cho responded to the backlash by removing the video online and claiming the story was fabricated. The Beef Stars castmates Yoon and Wang recently expressed in a statement that even though they do not condone Cho's past behavior, they are standing by him because he has put in the work by getting treatment for his mental health. In the post, Twitter user at Ichigodni mentioned that they didn't think they could hate Steven Yoon, but because of the star backing Cho, their view has changed. Another person would immediately respond by asking why hasn't the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania cast gotten the cancel hate, as silence and support are equally bad. As the allegations against Majors mount, many have questioned Marvel Studios' silence on the matter. But even though some are not happy with the Quantumania cast's non-response to the news, 
It is clear that they as well as the studio are waiting to see how everything plays out before picking a side. Major's court date is scheduled for May 8th. Gamivo lets your wallet survive the latest game sales, including deals on Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Cal Kestis and crew are nearly ready to blast off into their next adventure of attempting to survive the Galactic Empire's ruthless Order 66 in EA and respawns Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Taking place five years after the events of the well-received Jedi Fallen Order, Cal will explore many different planets and learn a slew of new skills that will push his prowess as a Jedi to the limit. Can he find peace in a galaxy that wants him dead? Or will Cal join his fallen brethren at the opposite end of a blaster? If you're dying to get your hands on the game, but don't want to spend full price, Gamivo has got you covered. Dedicated to finding excellent deals for gamers on a budget, Gamivo is a website that allows gamers to sell codes for video games, software, gift cards, and other digital goods at a discount. With buying and selling being the most important part of the platform, all transactions on Gamivo are monitored, verified, and analyzed to ensure you don't get taken for a ride. All purchases come with a customer protection program that guarantees you will get your game or have any issues resolved quickly. There is no membership required to make use of GAMIVO's deals, but those looking to up their game can invest in Gamivo Smart and save even more. This loyalty program gives subscribers better discounts on titles and access to a 24-7 tech support service for any issues they might encounter. If you're looking at build- Ant-